What's up guys, uh, today I'll be showing you guys how to add notes um, to your graphing calculator, both with and without a computer. Please note that this information is purely for informational purposes only. So what you want to do first is you go type in TI Connect into Google. Um, you click on their software link. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to download the TI Connect software. So you would hit download. Um, and then you would download the appropriate item um, based on whether you have a Mac or a Windows and what language you want. Um, and once you click that, it should download onto your computer. Okay, so now what you want to do is come to this link right here. Um, type in this URL. Um, I have also put it into the description below. Um, you want to scroll down to this TI coder and you want to click download. Um, and it should download onto your computer. Okay, so um, what have, should have happened is you downloaded a zip file, so you have to extract this file. Um, so you would click this application, this TI coder. It's gonna ask you to um, extract um, the files. So you just click extract all and save it. Okay, so after you have uh, extracted your file, you should see this TI coder application. Um, all you gotta do is double click it and it should open this application where you can start entering text. Um, so if, for instance, I want to say maybe negative B um, plus plus minus um, the square root of B squared minus four AC. Um, let's put this all in parentheses uh, over two A um, and that's the quadratic equation and of course you can add more text to it so you can say hey how is it going how is your day today um, now what you want to do is save it so you can delete this comment right here we can keep it doesn't matter and you want to rename your program so let's say quad for quadratic um, and then what you want to do is you go to file you click save as and it should just save as like this TI-84 program. Just name that a quad. You just click save and then it's saved. All right, so what you want to do now is plug your calculator into your computer via the USB port. You want to fire up TI Connect, which you've downloaded at the beginning of the video. Um, click double tap, send to TI device. It bring up this page, you want to select the calculator um, so you click select device, select the USB port, um, select your calculator, and now you want to browse for your file um, to add to your calculator. So what you want to do is click browse, click on the program that you just saved, um, and then now you have the program, and what you want to do is you click, or first you want to do make sure their destination is to your RAM, and you click send to device. And it's going to take a while. Um, and then it should start transferring. So um, after the transfer is successful, um, you can close your TI Connect program and go onto your calculator. Okay, so I'm here on my calculator. Um, you can unplug it from your computer and what you do is you would click this program button right over here. So after you have selected um, the program that you just uploaded, um, I unfortunately had to rename it because the calculator wasn't accepting the underscore as a variable. Um, you would run the program by clicking enter. It's gonna give you an error, so you wanna click go to error, and you sh should be able to see the text that you just uploaded onto your calculator. And you wanna make sure you don't accidentally cl uh, click this clear button right here, or delete that line of code, and you'll never be able to see it again. Um, so you wanna make sure you quit this program by pressing second and quit. And now you should be able to use your calculator again like normal. And uh, one more issue is that um, your spaces um, aren't recognized on your calculator, um, so you just kind of have to figure out what you're trying to say without the spaces. Okay, and now if you don't have a computer to do all of that, you can also type information onto your calculator with just the calculator itself. Um, so what you want to do is again head over here and click this uh, program button. Um, and after that you head over to this new, um, and then you would click create new program. Um, you would name it random thing, hit enter, um, and now you can start um, typing whatever you want to type. 
Um, so if you want to get letters, what you want to do is you want to first click alpha and then the letter in green. So A, B, C. And if you want to do a space, you would click um, alpha zero. And you can keep typing like that. Now, when you're done with the file, um, make sure you don't click clear again. So you want to go ahead over to second, quit. Um, and then you would do the same thing. You would head over to program. Um, and then after you have selected your program, same thing, you would click enter. It's going to give you an error. You click go to error. And it's going to give you the information that you entered. And to leave the program, again, you just click set second, quit. And you're all ready to go. Thank you so much guys for watching, I hope you guys learned something new today, um, and as always, make sure to like and subscribe, thank you very much.